all right good afternoon everyone so before i lose sunlight uh i will be messing around with this uh jujube that i have right here oh man it's stuck hold on there we go this jujube plant or jujube whatever you want to call it um so same thing i want to try and you know do a bonsai out of it um but as you can see the growth is pretty much on top and i would like it to be somewhere where the roots are um so hopefully i don't break anything right now i'm just gonna mess with it break with it but i also gotta separate this um milkweed plant it's uh i guess the only leaves that monarch butterflies eat or the larva of the monarch monarch butterfly what they eat um so i will be trying to save this as well um but here we go hopefully nothing goes wrong so the reason why i'm jumping on it is because i did use um the regular soil from the floor at the bottom um so it is pretty hard and it's pretty heavy um, so I have no choice other than of course I could always cut you know the pot but I want to save the pot so uh, hopefully I don't fall break myself in half or something so whenever I mess with um, the plants, if I have the chickens out, they like being around. Same thing with the ducks, but they're over there right now. Um, but if they saw me doing this, they would come because you got little bugs, grubs, roly polies. Or they have a different name, but you know, I know them as roly polies. Um, little ear earwigs or pincher bugs. All right, so this is something that I've done in the past. Let me show you real quick. The drainage, oh man, it's not, oh, this should work. Put one on one side, put another one on the other. And then you can sort of it open or push the dirt out there you go so there we go so I saved the part I can use it for later but as you can see this is the root of the plant um, see, there they go. See, she's pretty cool. The thing about the ducks is that if you have some ducks that get scared or that they're afraid, they're sort of like sheep. Where if one of them pan not panics, but if one of them does something, the rest of them tend to follow. Um, so if one duck gets scared or they panic, the rest of the ducks, even if they're friendly like this one, they'll get scared as, as well uh, and they'll just run away. So that's something that I learned. So I tend to just keep or stay with the uh, ducks. They're pretty chill. They don't get afraid for every little thing. All right, so this thing. Let's see if I can separate the milkweed plant.
Well, there goes that root. Oh, well. All right. Cool. There's one down. And for right now, so they don't die on me, um, I'm just putting them here in the water just so they don't go through the whole shock process and get all sad. Um, all right, back to this monster. I am gonna cut this quite a lot actually. Um, Cause if not, you can see how it looks and it's pretty much everywhere. So the roots, let me go with, man, that's a lot, but. Oh well. We'll see later what happens. See, and these roots, I can save them. I uh, probably will actually save the roots and graft it onto my bigger uh, jujube or jujube, whatever you want to call it, plant. Um, and I'll go from there. So I need to save these roots so once again let's throw them in water all right this guy i'm gonna prune it back pretty pretty heavily ideally i would like to chop it up like down here so it can be with the roots um but i do need it to survive That should be it. So I'm just gonna replant it. Um, and then sometime this year, I will be grafting onto the trunk uh, so it's closer to the roots. And that should be it. All right, but I'm not gonna use this dirt. It's the regular dirt from the ground. So it can get pretty, I guess you could say, sort of like a clay. Uh, I'll get pretty hard and it gets heavy um, so I'm gonna use I guess the one that's mixed uh, with sand um, well, this one, oh, see. perlite sphagnum moss peat moss and this dirt um, they're mixed together so it does get a bit softer so before this plant dies That should work. See the spider right there? Check it out. There we go. Done. Add some water so it softens up. And that one too. Now I can put it in here. I'm gonna try and spread out the roots. Just as more ground con contact with the dirt, uh, with the roots. Now I am gonna place it up against the wall because uh, it is pretty big and I have a feeling it's gonna want to uh, tilt or rock and I don't want it to fall. So, here we go. Actually, let me throw some of this one in there first. Now I can throw some of this one. That should do it. Got some more water.
All right, and that should do it. So now I got my milkweed separated and this jujube or jujube um, uh, up on this side. So later on this year, uh, once you know it starts to have new growth coming out, I will be grafting right close to the base. Hopefully it takes, because um, if it does, then I can just chop off this remaining part and try and see if I can do a bonsai out of it. Uh, keep in mind, you know, this is just a hobby for me. Um, experimenting to see if I, if even if I, I'm trying to experiment to see if I even can, you know, do a bonsai out of them. Uh, if it works out, great. If it doesn't, you know, oh well. And that should do it. Thanks everyone.